Y'all say who? Like, not for real. She been real quiet since I did this quick video. What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Danny Dior, and I'm back with more. So I just want to say first and foremost, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Danny. I like to eat, do my hair, and get cute to go nowhere. So, as you can see, I like to do my hair and get cute to go nowhere. So today, it's a hair tutorial, and that's just that on deck. So, y'all know I've got the job. If you watched my previous video, and I start the job Monday. Mind you, tomorrow is, well, when I'm uploading this, it would have been yesterday. But Sunday is Mother's Day, so I wouldn't have time to do my hair because I don't even know what we have planned yet. But I don't want to just be, you know, making the day about me. So, it's Saturday night currently. I think it's like 11 something. And uh, this is not going to work. Um, Yesterday, I washed my hair because I did a video with my friends a couple days ago. And I got flour in my hair. Don't ask. But, um, yeah. So let's just jump into the video. I want to do it quickly because it's just so much easier and it takes less time than sewing my hair. Not saying that, you know, I don't know how because clearly, you know, I got the stuff right here. For the needle and thread. It's just, I don't know. If you want something that lasts longer, sewing. If you want something that's quick and easy to do, quickly. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump straight into the video. So what you're going to need for this hairstyle is wig cap, a black one. Because baby, if them tracks start to show, you want to make sure it blends some hair glue of course um you don't need a super big one because you don't really need that much tracks for a bob um this shield basically what this is is you put it over your wig cap so when it's time to glue the tracks on the glue doesn't seep through your hair because believe it or not hair glue is super hard to get out your hair and i done cut my glue out too many times so we gonna stop that and then last but not least you have your hair so I know what you're thinking, like, this is not my hair color, clearly, but I couldn't find a 1B. I can never find the color I'm looking for. I couldn't find the 1B, so I got this, um, this color 4-27, and y'all, it looks really good, like, and the hair was $20 for this one bundle, and it just feels awesome, like, it's human hair, of course, we'll do that eight stuff, but, um, of course, I don't think this one bundle is going to be enough, but I knew I had one black bundle at home. So, oh, I knew I had one black bundle at home, so I wasn't tripping or trying to buy two. But yeah, so I'm probably going to put like this on the bottom and the black on top, or maybe I might do this on top and the black in the back and then put the black back on top. But I don't know. I'll figure it out, figure it out along the way. Um... Y'all, look at this. Please don't sleep on the beauty supply store hair. Normally, of course, whenever I have someone's, I don't use beauty supply store hair. But a bob is one of those things where you don't need top of the line $400 bundles because one, it's probably not going to last that long. Or two, it's like it don't get stiff or it shouldn't get stiff because it's short. So, I mean, you don't need all that. Look at this. This is beautiful. And a curl... It's just amazing. But I'm going to straighten it anyway. So none of that even matters. Okay, so here I braided down my leave out and my edges that I barely have. But it's okay because I'm still a bad bit. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, foundation or whatever. And do cornrows. You can mold it like I said. But um, I just feel like uh, cornrows make your hair lay flatter. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Um... I have a lot of hair, so I don't know how many I'm going to do because I know I'm going to get tired like midway. But I'm going to just go ahead and um, I'm going to do the first ones, like the ones in the front of my head, small as anything. And then as I go on, I guess I'll make them bigger. I just know I get tired, my arms get tired, and I don't be wanting to braid no more. But yeah. Go ahead and start braiding your hair down. Um, yeah.
This is how my hair looking. Braids, nice, neat, flat, okay, period. My part is probably off because I can't see that well, but it's okay. Um, This much hair left. I'm gonna go ahead, knock it out, break it up, and get the show on the road. tired so I divided the back piece into two pieces it's probably dumb of me and I'm probably gonna regret it later but I don't know I'm gonna see if I can braid these down flat and if not then I'll probably do it to like three braids but I just wanna hurry up and get this show over with so I'm gonna see if I can make it flat enough I can't then it's cool I'm gonna just oh uh, dang the fact I mean the part about it is my hair is so thick so me making bigger parts ain't doing nothing but hurting myself literally um oh y'all probably gonna see it do it um so yeah my hair is finally braided down this is the braiding pattern i'm gonna go ahead and take my wild growth oil this hair i mean this stuff really works wonders y'all i'm gonna go ahead and put it in between each braid because who being bald it's 2020 if you're bald head goodbye about hair growth 2020 you feel me i'm gonna go ahead i love this stuff it's just so easy to use lord Go ahead, put it in between. That's another thing I love about styles like this. Like when you cornrow your hair, it makes it so easy to just go ahead and, you know, oil and moisturize and massage your scalp. And it feels so good when it touches it. Sorry, I'm not looking at y'all. I'm trying to see what I'm doing in the mirror. But y'all knew that. Get the nape too. <sighs> Go ahead, rub all that in. Um, ideally you're supposed to massage it, but literally I don't want to mess up my braids because it looks so good. So yeah, I want to get here too, but I don't want my leave out to be oily because that's when it looks fake. And yeah, we don't want that. So I'm gonna just do right there. Boom. And we good. Now the fun part. Painting. Yay. No, JK. Okay. But take your wig cap. Um, you only need one. Some people use two because they are afraid that the glue might seep through, but you only need one. So go ahead and take one of your wig caps. And this one pretty thick, so put that baby on. Oh. Well, my oil, my scalp is oiled. Um, this is what my brain look like under the cap. Um, yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and take your protective shield. Um, I'm using a brush because I'm bougie. No, I'm just playing. Um, just to get it on there easier, make sure I have it everywhere. Yeah. Ooh, it's purple. I never knew that. It's like blue. So just put it where you want to apply your tracks. So like, um, probably just put it all over my head, but we're not gonna do that because I don't want to get it over my leave out. And yeah.
you got your protective shield on and out the way. I'm going to go ahead and take this blow dryer on low and, you know, dry a little bit. Never mind. Hi. Now I'm working with some y'all. So if you was watching this <laughs> tutorial and you stopped the same place I stopped, go back. Cause nah. And I thought I don't use the whole bottle. I still got half left. Well, probably not no more. But before I just spilled it out of my head, I got about half left in the bottle. So. You wouldn't know you by my side. You were there for me to love and care for me when skies were gray. When I was down, you were always there to comfort me. You will always be the girl in my life for oh, no time. Oh, my all right okay enough for the talent show we're done um now we're talking I made the executive decision to go ahead with the middle part as y'all can tell clearly already um just because um the side part i want to do parts of my hair is still blonde and i hate having you know people leave out be blonde on black hair so i'm gonna just do the brown on top of my middle part and pray that it blend well lord if it don't i'm about to get some spray so it can match because we not for all that no sir so this is the black one i just cut the thing whatever this is the 18 inch, doesn't matter, I'm gonna cut it. But um, yeah, about to do it. And I'm going to double weft it only cause I don't want my hair looking skimpy. Like I know it's a bog, but still. So the weft is kind of long. I mean, it's not all that. It is beauty spots right here, so. So what you're gonna do, if you decide to double weft it like I am, you're gonna take it to the back of your head, the lowest part, and you're gonna measure it to where you want it. Of course, you can do it like short, but I wanna do it here just to give it more volume. So once you have it measured, take your scissors, cut that piece off as best as you can without like, you know, shedding too much hair. And then you're going to take your hair glue. Um, This is new. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. I buy a new hair glue like every month. Cause they keep drying up and it can't come through the nozzle. So once you do that, you're gonna take it and you're gonna go across the wefts, hold them close together. I mean, they don't have to be right on top of each other, but it's just like, how else? So let me just, do this here. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing. So just try to get on both of them. I know it's kind of hard because they're not sewn together, but we're just going to work with what we got. Pray I don't get these on my pants, Lord. Y'all know these are my favorite sweatpants. Oh, darn it. Spoke too soon. And then gonna take the um you're not supposed to place it directly on your head just yet because the glue isn't tacky yet so it's probably gonna slip and slide down and you don't want that you want it to be firm darn it Penny. 
Ugh, I hate getting glue on your pants because it's like when you wash it, it don't come off. And this is not black glue. It's like, what am I doing? It's like gray. So whatever. When you put it on your head, you're probably gonna have to blow dry it again anyways. But this is just to make sure that it don't go all over the place while you're trying to place it. So I'm gonna do it so I can know. Yes, sir. Got it under here kinda. So, you know, the bottom of my braid is not showing that much. Take the blow dryer. Okay, so we good now. Y'all, look at my hair just peeping through. But 18 inches, don't belay with her. Maybe if it was like, I don't know, longer than a 20 inch, I probably not cut into a bob. But if it ain't 20 inches, it's a bob, basically. bundle of the y'all the first bundle is in um yeah i really only needed two bundles because it's a bob you don't need that much hair but this is how it's looking um can't see the back yeah so i have quite a lot of space left as far as the most part this style is really easy it's just placing it you know, and getting the glue to dry because if not, it will slide down. But now I'm gonna take this um, Milky Way hair, my scissors up, take this, put it on the top, pray it blend. If it don't, we gonna wear a hat. Um, and yeah, let's just keep going. Lord Jesus. Oop, I got glue on in here. Oh well. Okay, it's secure, but still I'm gonna take a blow dryer, just make sure. supply store hair like both of them rimy hair or nothing so i don't want to push the waters i mean test the waters and have the heat all the way up but look it straightens good um straightens good y'all see it holds curls well because i mean it came curled but yeah for the most part hair is really cool and this bundle was twenty dollars so let's just say if you want to be you know falling on a budget and you don't want to buy like four hundred dollar hair 
you can get what three bundles of this for sixty dollars and install it yourself and who gonna know if it's real or not nobody who gonna beat you up nobody but yeah um i don't want to put too much sheet on it but i want it to look good but then again i'm gonna have to go over it once i take my leave out out of the braids so Y'all, I really hope this blends. But so far, so good. So, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. And heat protecting is good, but it's weave, so I'm not really stressing too much. I don't plan on having this in forever. But yeah, these don't play with them. I love these highlights though. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them. I already had blonde hair. TikTok break. So now is the time to cut the cap off. Uh. Ow. <laughs> I don't know how to say ow. Feels good to be released. Cut it as close as possible, but you don't want to cut it all the way off. I'm trying to catch the cap. Okay. So, boom. The cap is cut. Leave out time, y'all. Let me turn this back on. I'm really hoping this is coming together. Okay, so after going over it a couple times, it's starting to blend a little bit better, y'all. Uh, I just wish I would have remembered to get the wax stick. But it's okay, I'll probably get it tomorrow if it's not too busy. But yeah, this is the first time I straightened my leave out in what? Since September? What leave out? That one, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna not cut it because what happens is when I cut it, I'm just like, what if I mess up? And I don't have time to be messing up. Like literally, I don't have time. So I'm gonna just leave it like this. And baby, when it start getting stiff, then you know the drill. But um, yeah, for the most part, my hair is blending better than I thought it would. I was, I mean, minus the fact that it's natural, 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 if you may. But it's blending better than I thought it was. Um. Like color wise, of course, you know, I have to fix this, this naturalness, but yeah. So what's up YouTube? This is a finished product. And all I gotta say is, y'all say who? Like, not for real. She been real quiet since I did this quick leave. But um, overall, the style is pretty easy pretty quick took about two hours and some change because i was lollygagging but two hours um i was gonna cut into a bob y'all did hear me say that but i just feel like why well, mess with my hair if i don't have to like look at this it's not as long as i like it's 18 inch but i mean it's long enough i just don't want to cut it and mess it up um as far as my leave out it blended way better than i expected like what leave out but um, my hair is newly natural, so probably tomorrow I have to go pick up a, um, a wax stick so I can put it on my leave out because the front, like the edges, like the ends of my hair keep coming up. But other than that, baby, this hair is so soft. Like, who would have thunk? View supply store hair, like this style is literally under $40, like legit. Like... <laughs> And I did this by myself, and y'all could do it yourself too. So, this is how it looks. Mm, stiff well, baby. Okay, we about getting a little carried away. Um, you want more hair tutorials? Make sure to drop them down below. But that wraps it up for this video. So, if you have anything you want to say, you can DM me at so much Danny, and I'll get back to you. But this is the end, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more Friday or Dynasty.